is good, Gray Gang? What's good, Gray Gang? I've been thinking, it has been absolutely freezing and cloudy and raining and snowing and then mudding where like mud falls out. It's awful, okay? Kentucky weather has been absolutely ridiculous over the last six months. But today, I don't know if you've noticed, but it is not raining and the sky is actually blue. That is an anomaly. This happens about three times a year. And it's also kind of warm. I mean, I am wearing a coat because the wind's blowing just a little bit. It's a little chilly, some would say. But I was thinking, let's take advantage of this day. Let's actually come out here and go fishing, okay? I don't think I've caught a fish in about four, five, six months, maybe. Also, this video is sponsored by Fish Rain, so they're gonna be coming in handy here in a minute. 100% honest, guys, it's been a long time since I've caught a fish, let alone a catfish. Yes, that's right, guys. We're gonna go after some catfish. I'm excited. I have a really interesting bait right behind the cameras. That's what we're going to be using, guys. It's not your traditional bait. We ain't using chicken breast. We ain't using chicken liver. We ain't using chicken gizzard. We ain't using bread. We ain't using stink bait. We ain't using hot dogs. We're not using worms. Shoot, man, we ain't even using lead pencils. This bait's going to be wild. Let's head on down there. I'll pull them out. They're in my hand right here. I don't know if you saw them. Hopefully not, because if you did, they'd ruin the video. But I'll see you down at the pond. This is going to be interesting, okay? It's going to be pretty crazy. Now, first things first. We are at the pond right now. We got to get these sap suckers fired up, guys. And to do that, we're going to bring out an extremely traditional bait. Just some outdated roll. Fun fact, guys. I don't know why, but it is actually proven by Ohio State University. Catfish like outdated bread more than normal bread. Studies also shown that your catch percentage actually went up 20% after you subscribed to this channel. So you heard it here first, guys. You got it. It's science, guys. It's research. You got it. The numbers don't lie. That's what Mamie always says. The numbers don't lie. I mean, whenever she says that, she ain't talking about math, but if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. This is the moment where uh, I need to come down and say, I actually don't know what I mean. So if you have a clue what I'm talking about, good for you. But anyways, just, oh, wow, that's not good. I'm just taking bread. I'm just tossing it out in the middle. Waiting for some big, big old catfish or something to come up and eat it. There is some absolutely massive bluegill here. Like, check this out. I don't know if y'all can see them. Can y'all see them right there? I'm gonna toss some food in. They'll come up pretty shortly. Should be able to see them. Oh, there they are. Those are some big old boys, dude. Those are some big bluegills, and <laughs> there's a lot of them. Oh my goodness. Look out there. Look at all these fish that I never knew existed. Why don't they bite my bait, man? Also, where's the catfish at? They're supposed to be here any moment now, but they failed to come up here. Come on, big one. Come on, catfish. We need a catfish. The secret bait we are gonna be using outdated marshmallows. If I'm gonna be honest, guys, outdated marshmallows, they're not good for much except giving you uh, the stomach flu. So uh, yeah, they should do really good once we're out here trying to catch a catfish on them. Plus they're sticky. I'm feeling they'll stay on the hook pretty good. Just put it right in the middle of it. We're gonna hope they float. That's probably your best option anyhow. Toss it right out there and uh, we'll really just let it sit there for a little while. Till a big catfish comes up and swarps on it. The next day. Okay, it is actually the next day and uh, I'll just tell you guys, we didn't do any good. Like we didn't even catch a single fish. But today is a different day. It's actually about to rain pretty soon i think but uh well we got a little bit of time we can try so we all saw the marshmallows really didn't work at all so then i started thinking what else could i use uh oh 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 almost died what could i use that is equally as weird and so as y'all know i have goats there's one right there i think and with these goats i have to feed them daily and then i just thought about it why don't i go fishing with the grain i feed them the hay i feed them and all the vines that they eat all combined into one. Now, if you're picking up what I'm putting down, good for you. Now, if there's one thing for sure, it is that there is absolutely no shortage of fishing bait here. The only question is how fresh do I want it? Do I want it from like 30 minutes ago? Maybe uh, two or three days ago? Do I want it very fresh? Yeah, I probably don't want to do that. Oh, well, never mind. I can get it as fresh as I want it. They're coming out right now. This right here, guys, I don't know if y'all think this is weird, but this is literally three seconds old. Or maybe even we, oh, we can get more right there. Looks like Tater's having a good time too. Anyways, I don't know. This might work. It might not work. We're about to find out though. I can promise you that. Probably not going to catch a catfish on this, but uh, I think we can do a pretty decent job trying to catch a bluegill. I don't know, guys. Is this, is this crossing the boundary of what I shouldn't do? I don't think so. I mean, if it works, it works. Nee, 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 nee. The only question is uh, how do I get it and how do I transport it? Right here seems pretty warm. That may be the stuff we're wanting right there. It's basically the same thing as deer, just if you're wandering. Just 
pick some up, put it on there, on that little wooden thing, and to be honest guys, that should be all we need. Don't mind me, goats, I'm just uh, getting something you definitely don't want anymore. Anyways, goats, we'll see you in a minute. We're gonna go try to catch a fish on the same food I fed you. Okay, 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 okay. We're actually at the pond right now. I'm just gonna give you a little pre-game prediction, I guess. Do I think we can catch a fish? Honestly, I think I can. I mean, whenever you think about it, they are kind of a nutritional packed meal. They are a little bit dried out, but I mean, besides that, they are, I do know exactly what's in them, and it's kind of pretty healthy too some of y'all may think this is nasty but it's really just ground up corn and grass mixed with a little bit of water like that's all it is I, I don't think they're gonna eat it but they don't have to eat it to catch them all they have to do is really bite it i'm just gonna come in here and drop it in here it sinks slowly i think so that, that'll always be a plus no it floats okay that may be a minus this may be harder than i thought i don't want it to be harder than i thought all they gotta do is bite it come on just one just one bite one bite i don't think that they think it's appetizing which i don't blame them but i want still want to catch a fish if it would sink i could catch one i'm not even kidding but it don't sink it floats okay i give up i'm using bread that's it i'm catching a fish today Got him. Yes. <laughs> I caught a fish on bread. It's so amazing. How unique. What an incredible species. Never thought I'd caught one on bread in a million years. What a day. Guys, I tell you what. The fish have been giving me a really hard time lately. I don't know if you noticed that. So, Kendall, Dave, what's your excuse for the fish not biting? Well, I'd be lying to you if I didn't tell you is the moon phases. And because of that, we're going to go ahead and put up the rod. We're going to head on up to the goats for a minute because with the goats, I've actually got, I've actually got something. Oh, how do I say this? We're getting a new family member. But he's not really your family, he's adopted. The next day. It is actually the next day again. This video's taking three days, but that's okay. No need to get scared or anything. We are in the goat pen. Chip and Tater just got done eating for their morning. But we're looking to expand and upgrade this uh, lot a little bit. And what we're gonna need to do that are those fence posts right there. These fence posts, what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be making it larger as well as beefier. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you guys, we're getting an elephant. I'm kidding. We're not getting an elephant. And I'm not gonna tell you what we're getting until you figure it out yourself. I'm actually gonna let you guys guess in the comment section once I get done telling you about how we're gonna upgrade it. There's a pretty good chance you'll figure it out or at least get close, but I'm gonna tell you everything I'm gonna upgrade and then, well, I'll let you make your guess after that. But for now, I'm gonna dig in here, try to get some of these fence posts out because we really need them if we're gonna upgrade at all. So at this point, I'd say the more fence posts we can get, the better off we're gonna be. So I'll just grab a bunch and toss them out there. They are kind of grown up in weeds a little bit, but I mean, Chip and Tater, it was grown up a ton. I didn't even know where they were until Chip and Tater cleared it out some. Oh, here's two. Ah, there we go. Here's another one. We're gonna be needing as many as we can. The reason we're gonna need a bunch, well, the reason that we need them at all, we're gonna be putting, we're gonna be expanding it some, so making our place bigger. But we're also going to be putting one strand of barbed wire up across the top. That way, maybe, not trying to give any spoilers, but maybe a taller animal can still live in here and not be, you know, crunched up or anything. Yeah, it's going to be taller than a goat. But then again, these goats are like short, so it may not tell you much. There we go. There's a few fence posts. Looks like there's one more. Okay, cool. Now I'm actually going to transport these on down the hill where we're going to be installing them. Chip and Tater, you know, they're just over here eating, getting fat as usual. And uh, we'll go and get started. We're going to build this fence as soon as we can. Like, we don't want to wait around. All right, so here's the plan from now. Right now, the fence comes right through here, stops at corners here, goes straight up the hill. I'm wanting to expand. I'm bringing it from right around here. We're not cornering posts. We're going to blow right through it, come right around here right around the edge of that road that way they'll have this hill and those two trees that they can climb you know what i mean i mean they're standing right there looking at me they kind of look majestic kind of getting scared oh no i'm shaking i'm terrified but also what we'll end up doing once we like solidify the fence the final strand i'll probably move that on up to here and that one on up to here so if that post is there where does my next one need to be I'm thinking, since the T-posts really only need to be in corners and straight lines, we need to go to the next corner, which is going to be right over here. Once I get over here, I can figure out my corner. I can say that if that T-post is right there, this T-post could probably be about right here. This would be a straight line to where my T-post is going to be, and then I can always put the fiberglass rods in between. Then from here, my next T-post will be about right there, and then we'll make a new one going on up. So I'm thinking right here 
should be number one, my first T-post. I'll go ahead and drive that in. Now, T-posts aren't that easy to drive in, son. I mean, they're pretty big pieces of metal. But, again, I got a T-post driver. Makes it a lot easier. Here it is. It's like this big, oh, ah! It's like that big pop thing in you drive it it makes it really easy i'm just gonna say that it makes it super easy to drive stuff since the mule is out of gas i'm just going to sit y'all right there and i will uh i'm gonna go on over there and drive the post you guys will have to just watch me from a distance all right get her in there and we'll go ahead and start driving that right there that's a pretty sturdy post, guys. That's about all we're gonna need for that. One thing I didn't do whenever I was building the, the first fence right there is I didn't have strong corner posts. When you're building any fence, especially an electric fence, you want your corner post, which you're gonna be holding up the most weight, to be the strongest. With that electric fence, I didn't really do that, and then I had to go over it completely again and replace the corner post with actual actual T posts. That's just a little thing that I've learned being a farmer for every bit of a week and a half. Yep, basically a professional, but well, it's whatever you want to call it. Now I'm actually going to move right on up to there and do the same exact thing. That ain't going nowhere. Oh, yeah, man. I'm pure farmer, dude. I took a year back. Sick. Since building the fence is the most repetitive thing in the world, I'm going to go ahead, get, get, get a lot of stuff done, and then I'll bring y'all back because it's basically the same thing as you just watched me do for 30 seconds. Just a little update, guys. I'm actually on my phone right now. I don't know if you can tell it, but we're moving the fence. We're basically making it bigger. Also, since I filmed last, I got the word that whatever I was about to get, I can't have it because they already gave it away. So I guess we're really not getting a new family member yet, but I think we will pretty soon. But besides that, we are actually still going to expand the fence, so that's a good thing. In the meanwhile, I had to put these guys up so that, you know, I could actually expand the fence out here, and, uh, well, they're already trying to jump out. They've already busted down the gates once. This is the second time. We're actually expanding it out to there, so that's going to give them that much more from there all the way down to here, and then usually it cuts off this way, but we're gonna make it keep on going out there, out there, out there. So that they're actually gonna gain this all around that mountain. It's not a lot more, but honestly, it kind of is. It's like it's like a third of what they have now. So I guess you could say they're getting 30% more land or something like that. Maybe that's how they add up. They want out, and they're going to try every way they can to get out. They've already busted out once. I've already said that, but uh, yeah, it, I mean, it's just two pallets propped up with a, a stump. There's really nothing stopping them. But I don't need much time. I just need enough time to move this to there, and if I'm going to be honest, guys, I think this is going to be a pretty good addition to the goat pen, and my making it bigger can hold more goats or more animals basically what we're limited to is whatever can't jump over a three-foot electric fence but i guess we can always make it taller maybe i don't know but anyways guys don't forget link in the description to download fish brain and follow me kendall gray one if you like the goat videos watch this playlist right up here and if you like the fishing part of it watch this right here this is a good fishing video for y'all to watch